Hello and welcome to another episode of How to Level Up and we're going to be looking at Standard Demon Hunter today. So Demon Hunter is pretty good at the moment, especially, I was thinking like all the different aggro decks, with the exception of maybe Hunter, well even even Hunter you can beat Hunter pretty pretty well, it's a really really fast deck, but obviously if you've got big torque walls and, you get, and the opponent gets them early, it's not great. But the general thing you want to do I guess is Iron Deep Trog. At low, at low ranks, this, this card just confuses the, op the the opponent ridiculously. They just won't do anything. Um, and in fact, that's not really the thing to do. Uh, the cards you basically want to keep in your opening hand are Iron Deep Trog, Drekthar, and, you know, if you've got one of um, Razor Bore, Felfire Deadeye maybe, Tusk Piercer, there's a, there's a lot of good stuff. And you want to save all this sort of stuff for later. So, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty straightforward deck to play. Uh, Kurtris can be really, really useful. Um, obviously, you could combo it there with the Expendable and get a... Well, I guess you can't really... You kind of can. It depends what you've got on board. Normally, you can normally you can like uh, do a finisher with uh, this card because it doesn't really say what it does, but basically, it, it will... Um, it gives you... Yeah, there you go. It does, actually. Uh, yeah, plus two attack turn, and then you can... Every time you... To do that you can refresh so you can get like a ridiculous amount of attack potentially like uh, i'm trying to think what could you get like if there were seven minions on board already i guess you could yeah we could do it like what eight times i guess so so it'll get you 16 attack it's very unlikely you get that situation but it is possible uh you would actually could have even more if you had like a weapon but um but yeah this is pretty useful good for getting stealth minions out and yeah, in general, if you know the game's going to be really fast, you can just do that on face, just before they play something. Which is, you know, if you don't, if quite, if you, if you just think I'm just going to ignore the minions, you just play that. Uh, obviously, you want to keep an eye on your outcast stuff. Uh, not really much outcast. I think this is the only outcast card. So uh, there's the combo, right? If you wanted to play, normally you don't really play it. Um, but it is possible. You can obviously get something from Illidari as well. And yeah, like cards like this are the ones you really want to be like this is this is a good card to pull out with um uh the Beastmaster or the Razor Ball. And obviously obviously if you can like, you know, if you've got if you can sort of uh, chain them together, Razor Ball gets out a Beastmaster, then it's pretty good. But yeah, this card just if you get this out coin on turn three coin. It, it, I think it's just a huge, hugely like, um, you know, just turns the game completely often. And yeah, don't know, not really too much else to do. This is good to have out early just to get that zero power. Uh, yeah, that sort of zero, you know, if you, if you had this and a bunch of minions, I guess maybe that's the combo you could go for, isn't it? Yeah, you could go for the. I haven't actually done this, but I just just sort of realised it now. You could go for Felfire Dead Eye into Expendable, and you could just keep on uh, hero powering. So that's a OTK. Probably once I haven't got to like high ranks yet, but uh, I got to reasonably high rank. I got to, like, like platinum, but not like particularly high. Um, so yeah, I guess like that is what you do at higher ranks. You want to go for the big play with Expendable. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I guess that is it.